Yo, 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 it's Ross. Hey guys. Um, I want to do a video here for you guys, but before I get into that, I want to just mention a couple things. One, I want to say thank you uh, for those of you who commented and said nice things on my uh, first fig video. So the first fig video of uh, 2018, we did a video and then at the end, um, I asked you guys for your opinions and a lot of you said some really nice things, which was really nice to, uh, to see. So I want to say thank you for that. Um, I also want to make this video uh, with the purpose of using a different camera setup. So we're using something that is attached to my phone. Um, to help with the shakiness. I know the shakiness has been a problem. I've really not enjoyed it uh, Looking back filming something and then saying oh no, I have to go and film this again or this didn't come out the way I wanted it So we are using something today to try to help with that and I think the worst part of the shakiness is really when I'm walking so Let me know how that is right. I'm walking right now obviously on my screen it's not too horrible but I know when I was walking before that was the absolute worst um, anyway on to the video though I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the fig tree planting that we had done against the house so I've showed you guys these trees I think uh, since I made that video you know the video was all about planting figs and planting pomegranates in a cooler climate and the main purpose of the video I guess the main vision of this planting was to emulate a desert like climate that's probably as simple as it gets and I know I really uh, dragged that point on in the the previous video but that's really the simple version right we want to emulate a desert-like climate because these trees, the persim or the not the persimmon, the fig and the pomegranate, originate in the desert and they do well there. Not to say that they don't do well in other climates, but they really thrive there. Um, they don't need much water. You know, they kind of thrive on neglect. They fruit pretty well on neglect. Uh, even in the wild, the fruit tastes incredible. Some say it actually tastes better in the wild than it does when you cultivate it yourself. So that's what we did here. We planted a fig tree and pomegranate planting here in zone seven to try to emulate the desert. And I think we have achieved that. I think this is extremely warm, this area here. Now, I don't have a thermometer uh, that I could put here. Actually, I, I do. I do have one that I could put here, but I haven't really taken temperature readings. And I don't think I necessarily need to do that because I'm just using, just by going off some intuition, uh, the stuff that grows here, the stuff that is growing here, grows like weeds, okay? Compared to everywhere else in the yard, it's the, the stuff in here are weeds. Now, I also have things in here like brassicas, and <laughs> we have cabbage, you know, uh, we had broccoli, we have fennel, we have uh, turnips back there. We have lots of carrots that I've been uh, digging up. That stuff likes the cooler weather, okay? Now I wish I had done this quite differently, right? I wish I had put all of the heat loving crops that I have, all of the melons, all of the watermelon you know, all of the peppers, all of the eggplants, all of my tomatoes. I wish I would have stuck all of that in here and put all of the brassicas on a different side of the yard, you know, um, where I have basically all the trellis, all those poles set up over here, guys, in this bed. You know, I wish we would have uh, swapped things around because this stuff in here is just astronomically different I mean it's 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 really quite noticeable um, you can notice it really well in 
not really the figs themselves because the figs I I pinched most of them and I kind of forced them into fruiting because um, I like figs right <laughs> but <laughs> Because of that, they have such heavy fruit loads now that the, the growth on them has slowed down a bit. Um, they are still thriving and doing well, but I think because uh, it's been quite warm here, you know, we've had actually almost a heat wave. We have, have had a heat wave. It's been over 100. Um, every day it's, it's felt like 100, uh, sometimes even 105. So. We've been getting really warm temperatures and combined that with this area here, which is just naturally very warm, things have started to take off. And at the same time, I think things may be a little warm, a little too warm, um, if that's really a thing. I mean, I guess it is because people in the desert, uh, it's way too warm for them in like somewhere like Arizona. So. You can really see it, like I was saying, in the annuals. The tomatoes, the peppers, they have doubled their size in the last two weeks. Um, this isn't an exaggeration. I had left for Japan. We came back two weeks later. I had filmed a video on my peppers, talking about how unproductive my peppers are every year. And I was really disappointed. And I just was posting that video, looking for ideas, looking for different varieties because I think the variety has a lot to do with it and as a result uh, I was pretty negative I was pretty pessimistic but <laughs> we came back two weeks later and the peppers were double the size that they are now or they're I'm sorry they they're double the size that they were they all have peppers on them now um, they're putting out more peppers it's quite incredible uh, same thing with the tomatoes None of them had fruit on them. There wasn't a single fruit. And somehow in that period of time, these all set fruit. These all set fruit. These all set fruit. I mean, it's almost like this can't be right. But somehow it is. Uh, it's just been, it's just been nuts. The, the amount of heat that's been put into these varieties. This is mortgage lifter here, I believe. Uh, this is, I think, what is this, Paul Robeson, that tomato. So, I think if you just look at the annuals without really looking at a temperature gauge, you can very easily see that it's warm here. And everything in this bed, with the exception of the cool loving crops, is loving it. Now, the other part of this is the soil temperature, right? Because it's not just enough to say that the air is temperature. The air is warm, sorry. But we want to also look at the soil temperature, and that's pretty nice. We're about, we're above 90 here. And uh, that's a really nice soil temperature. Um, that's a really good soil temperature, even for my container figs. Um, something else to note is that if you touch one of them rocks down there during the day, it is hot. It is blazing hot. I can't actually touch it for more than a couple seconds. So uh, I think the soil here is very uh, dry as well. We had amended this. Uh, if I dig down in here, guys, you know, let me just show you the soil over here. It's quite dry. Uh, there's mulch down. But look at the look at the soil guys. It's not wet. It's very dry. This is the root zone of this plant and it's quite dry. That's that's kind of what we want. This is how we're going to get lots of fig sap. Um, that's going to give these trees a natural antifreeze and it's storing that antifreeze in the wood as we speak. It's also putting out lots of figs this way. The metabolism is going to be quite high. We just need a little bit of rain, and these trees are going to grow like you've never seen. So I'm expecting a lot of growth probably in September when things cool down a little bit and we get more rain. You know, when that fall weather sets in, these trees will probably grow like 
like nuts. So I think that's that's it. That's really what I wanted to talk to you guys about. We've I think we've succeeded in our mission of this planting in that we wanted to emulate the desert. And I think we've done that. There's little water, there's lots of heat, the soil is quite hot. So I'm very excited to see now, I, the last part of this is just to see how well these things do in the winter time. How well these guys overwinter. And that's it. Um, other than that, we have a really successful planting and I'm quite happy with it. So anyway guys, um, hope you enjoyed this little video. Hope you enjoyed the quality of the, the video. Really trying to keep things still for you guys. So let me know down below if I succeeded in that. And I hope to see you guys soon. All right, take care.